Hey everyone, so uh, hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a haul collective as always. First I'm gonna start with Lush. I love Lush. So I finished my big shampoo and I decided, you know, I want to try something different. So I got another shampoo and conditioner. Something I want to mention with products like Lush how they are organic and natural vegan. With those type of products, you are not going to get instant gratification. You are not going to use it once and your hair is gonna be beautiful and luscious. And no, unfortunately, that's not how vegan and natural and organic products work. You need to really commit to these kinds of products. I have been using uh, natural, organic, and vegan shampoos and conditioners for probably about a year now, and I love them. You need to use natural, vegan, organic products. You need to give them a really fair try for a month to three months. Now, this is just going to depend on your hair type and your hair length. This isn't just for Lush. This is for any natural, organic, vegan brand you use. Use the same amount as you normally would. A lot of people use a lot more product than they need because they're not seeing and feeling a difference. You need to give them time. Shampoo I use on the scalp. All over the scalp, the back, the side, the top. Conditioner I use on the ends. Okay. So, for shampoo I got the Rehab Shampoo. This is like quite liquidy. It smells like peppermint. If you don't like peppermint, do not buy this. It smells like peppermint. Peppermint is great because it's going to kind of clarify the scalp and it's also going to stimulate the follicles, which is going to make your hair grow. And even though I have long hair, I want it longer. I don't think it smells bad. So this says shampoo your mane back to health with cleansing enzymes, softening seaweed, and scalp toning essential oils. You are supposed to shake well and gently work through your hair for a lather. And I usually keep my shampoos and conditioners in for like a couple minutes. There's that. I have really been enjoying this. Next is the conditioner I picked up. This is the American Cream. And now I've mentioned before, I have the Veganese. The Veganese is super, super light. I also have Retrend, which is a really, really, really thick conditioner. So American Cream is like the middle ground hair conditioner. It says, have the flowy, shiny locks you've always dreamt of with the strawberry vanilla milkshake conditioner. I don't really think it smells like strawberry vanilla to me. I don't think it smells bad. But I will say that if you do not like the scent of this at all whatsoever, no go, you can't do it, don't buy it. It lingers in the hair. Sometimes like when I whip my head, I can I can smell it. I can get whiffs of it. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I really have been enjoying this as well. When you use vegan, natural, organic conditioners, you have to use them straight for a month to three months. You can substitute, you know, Tresemme here and there. So another thing that I picked up was a, what is this? A fresh face mask. This is the Sacred Truth. You keep this in the fridge. It says, keep your skin in beautiful condition with antioxidant wheatgrass, green tea, and enzymic papaya. What? Okay. Anyways. So, this is 60 grams. This only lasts about two to three weeks. So, you really gotta use it right when you get it. Lush, of course, has no animal testing, which is great. I was told that I can get, like, four uses out of this mask, which is crap. I got, like, eight. Um, I got my entire face. I didn't do a thin layer. I did it not, like, super, super heavy either, but, like, enough. And I love this. I used all of it. It's gone. It smells kind of like a flower to me. 
and other stuff. I don't know. The smell was kind of like, ooh, okay. But, like, instantly, like, right when I took it off my face, I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. So when I went into Lush, I told the girl, I said, I want something that is going to brighten and even and make my skin look glowy and beautiful and amazing. I would absolutely repurchase this. This is like $7. I believe that you can get 10 uses out of this, 10 masks. I don't know what the girl was saying about four because there's a lot more than four. You definitely don't need that much product for your face. But I got eight. Some days I went a little heavy, so that's why I only got 8, but I definitely feel like you can get 10 out of this, so. Another thing I got was a bath bomb. I did already use it, but I did, like, take a picture and, like, film it and all that, so I will insert that now. If you love citrus, I definitely, definitely recommend you to buy this. Now, I have a jacuzzi tub. I have the jets. So, one bath bomb is more than enough bubbles for my bath and for me. Now, if you have a regular bathtub, I definitely recommend a bath bomb and a bubble bar. A bubble bar is mainly just for the bubbles. The dry man's egg was really, really silky and soft in the bathtub, like it made my legs nice and soft. Now, I don't think it carries that moisture out of the bathtub, if you know what I mean. Once I got out of the bath, my legs weren't super, super soft and silky. They weren't like scaly or anything, but they definitely weren't as like silky as in the bathtub, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so I also did get another bath bomb. This one is like the, oh my god, it matches my room, hey, cute. This one is the like avocado, alvo bath. I don't think it really smells that avocado-y, which I'm thankful for because I actually don't like avocado. Again, if you like citrus, I definitely recommend this one. I really like citrus and fresh. So I purchased some things from e.l.f., so let's get into that. My very first beauty video here on my channel was an e.l.f. haul. I was disappointed with pretty much every single thing I bought. So, I bought this stuff to give it a second chance. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is this brush. This is the contouring brush from the Studio line. It looks really cool. You know, it just like really like fits in there. I haven't tried it, but I'm excited. The only thing I don't love about e.l.f. is every single one of my e.l.f. brushes, the handle has completely come off. Like they're not glued in very well at all. Okay, next I got two foundations. I got the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation with salicylic acid, hazelnut, camphor, tea tree, and owl. owl? Aloe? Aloe? <laughs> I got mine in the shade Porcelain, and I did self-tan, so... Mm. Anywho, this says, um, uses for the treatment of acne helps prevent new acne blemishes. Directions, cleanse the skin thoroughly before applying medication. Cover the entire affected area with a thin layer <laughs> one to three times daily. What? You expect me to put this on three times a day? Are you kidding me? This only has 0.5 salicylic acid, so it's really not like this huge treatment. But I did swatch this on the back of my hand when I got it, and I must say that just on my hand, it was settling into like my hand cracks, my hand crevices, like the pores on my hands. So I'm not sure about that. 
Next is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation SPF 15, which really isn't that much at all. This is also in the shade Porcelain. Another thing, these porcelains are not the same shade. They're actually kind of different. Okay, this says, uses helps prevent sunburn. Elf, you're cracking me up here. 15, SPF 15, Elf. What? How is that preventing sunburn? This says, directions, apply generously 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply at least every two hours. Who do you think I am? Who do you think I am? Okay, and next is the Elf Finishing... What? Elf Perfect Finish HD Powder. So it is just a white powder, kind of like the Makeup Forever HD. It has a really nice size mirror. And it comes with a puff. Next is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. Their face products broke me out. That's why I stopped using them. Powder in Fiji. This one is the matte one. Because I don't wear shimmery bronzers. So the blush is also nice. Now you guys know I don't love matte blushes. I really like my Shimmer Shimmer. But it's definitely a really pretty shade. And I could always top it off with something. So I'm interested to trying this and hopefully it doesn't break me out. This is the disappointing part. I picked up two of the e.l.f. matte lip colors. I picked up some new shades. I chose Berry Sorbet and Dash of Pink. Now, go on their website right now. Go right now, please. You're not going to be able to tell. Please go on yourself right now to the website. Let's compare these swatches right now, please. I chose these shades because they looked absolutely beautiful for spring, summer. This is Berry Sorbet. This is really, really dark for how it looks on the website. If it looked this dark, I would have never bought it. I wanted a summer spring shade. Same with Dash of Pink. It's just not how the swatch is online. This one is Dash of Pink. This one's closer. I decided to email Elf and let them know. Not once, but twice. Telling them that they should update these pictures because they look nothing alike. And they never responded, so that's really nice, Elf. Thanks for that. Again, the only reason I bought Elf was to give them a second chance. So many people on YouTube love Elf, and I just, I don't understand it. I feel like you get what you pay for, which isn't very good. So, I don't know. Okay, so two things from the Superstore, which is Canadian. It's actually a grocery store, but anyways... I saw that they had some liquid lipsticks from the Joe Fresh line. Now, liquid lipsticks are this huge thing right now. So I was like, hmm. I got two shades. Super fun. And don't you notice that these two shades are like these two shades? But they're not the same because the swatches are totally wrong. Shade Bay Savage. I wore this in my Girl Talk video. Now on camera it looked darker than it really is. And to be quite honest, these are actually slightly sheer in some areas. So I actually recommend a lip liner with these. This one is Fuchsia. Scent. None. The applicator is a doe foot, but it has like a point to it, which I like. So now we're going to go into clothing. I am wearing one of my new pieces. This crochet top. Ain't it so cute? Oh my god. So cute. Okay, so I purchased this from Garage, so let's continue with the Garage stuff. I love garage. I think that they have really, really amazing things. They fit very, very well. So, I got three crop tops. This one is 
just because I really like the pattern of it. Now these other ones I purchased to go under this crochet top. So there's this mint one and the back looks like this. And then I also got this pink one, which seems a little cheaply made compared to the other one, but R. Dean. Now, in my last haul, I mentioned that I bought a dress, and I went back, and I bought more dresses. Hey, what can I say? It's just the way that she goes. This has, like, some scrunching under the bust. It isn't overly short. It's just, like, a good length. And it has like a v-neck to it and then it has this other like flowy thing on the breasticles if you watch my other haul I bought this exact dress but in a different color so this one is just the blue one the back is open right here comes with a belt and it is high low strapless next is another high low comes with a belt it has a cutout in the back again this one is black with like an Aztec print. And then we have this one which has some straps. It's solid black right here and then it goes into this print. It is floor length. And then from that purchase they have some of these tattoo things which I've seen all over Instagram and oh my god they're so cute like how white girl but they're really cute next Licenza I bought some panties now unfortunately I only have one to show because I wore all the other ones my bad so this I got a seamless underwear this is a thong just white and I also got a black one, and then I also got two other panties. I'm not sure what they're called. I will insert a picture and the name, just so we're all understanding. And those are really, really sexy. They're like all sheer. The booty is sheer. The side straps are like super cut. So sexy. Okay, and... Two last things I have are shoes. These are Skechers. I already have a pair of Skechers and I really, really love them. Aren't these so cute and fun? They also are memory foam, so they're like really squishy. The last pair of shoes I got are these. They're kind of like the Toms, but they're called Bobs. Bobs? Yep. They have memory foam. They do give me blisters in the back when I'm breaking them in. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. That is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And leave comments down below about what videos you like to see next. Like, thumbs up this video, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye. No. <laughs> Don't you realize that every time I say bye, I'm like, no. Toodles.